Good evening, everyone. Oh, let's try that again. For those of you that had dinner, good evening, everyone. Glad to see you've come out tonight. And isn't it nice to see all these students and their parents that are moving to Thompsonville? Isn't it great? You're already here. Might as well not. Don't leave. This is the best place in the world to be. We are so glad that you've come out tonight to be a part of this wonderful program presented by the Great Lakes Adventist Academy under the direction of Mr. Sam Vick. And uh, those buses outside uh, are filled with energetic young people that are growing and going in the Lord. And we know tonight we want to pray for them. I understand there's going to be instrumental, there's going to be choir, there's going to be uh, the bells, and I'm just saying in the way a novice would say it, but I'll have the musical instructor describe exactly what is going to take place here tonight. But um, thank the Lord that they've arrived safely, they have their, had their dinner, and I think that they are now energized, but we want to pray for the Holy Spirit and for the presence of the Lord to be here to Bless our lives, and even those that are joining via the stream, thank you for taking the time tonight. It's not our regular Wednesday night Bible study, but this is a time to praise the Lord through the gift of music. Let's bow our heads to pray. Loving Father in heaven, thank you for the Great Lakes Adventist Academy. We thank you for the developing lives that are represented here. Each of these young people represent a place in your work, a place in the kingdom. And we pray, Lord, that as they have grown and learned, that they will keep uppermost in their minds that not only am I going to give my gift to the Lord, but I'm going to use it to help others prepare for eternity. Tonight, Father, send your Holy Spirit to work in them and through them that what we hear will bring honor to your holy name, will thrill our hearts and strengthen us in our Christian journey, and that we will leave here knowing that your presence has invaded their hearts and have through them exalted your holy name. Be with Mr. Sam Vick as he uh, is the leader of this orchestra, these wonderful young people and all the other teachers represented. And may your name's honor and glory be uppermost in our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight, let's put our hands together to welcome the Great Lakes Adventist Academy. Let me hear you tonight. All right, I want to just invite you this evening to not just hear a program, but let's worship together um, and uh, let your heart be lifted in prayer and draw closer to him. I'll, the order will look like this. We'll have our wind symphony, our concert. It's our concert band, and our wind symphony will open the program. We'll follow it with the handbell choir. And then at the end of the handbell choir set, the strings will join them for a piece. And then we'll hear the, str the strings play a piece. And then the, um, the men from the chamber singers will come and join them. And the strings will exit. And the chamber singers will close, close the program and will pray together. And I, I just, um, it's a program, yes, but let's worship. And uh, let's draw close to him. The students will introduce the pieces, and uh, we'll just go right through the set of pieces. So, hope you enjoy. The first piece we'll be performing is named Into the Storm by the composer Robert W. Smith. This is one of our personal favorites as is one of the more exciting pieces in our repertoire. The story behind this song is based off of the event that took place during March 1933 in the eastern United States. 
In listening to this piece, you'll find that the calm melody is to the likeness of the eye of the storm, and the exciting parts imitate the loud booming of thunder. In life, we all go through storms. Even when the lightning strikes and the thunder booms, God is still with us through it all. He is the peace. He is the calm. We are never go through it alone. Here's the song, Into the Storm, composed by Robert W. Smith.
Our next piece is entitled Endless Rainbows, composed by Brian Balamages. Mr. Balamages was contacted by Mr. Jeff Zinkel, a middle school music teacher, who asked Mr. Balamages to compose a piece for his wind symphony. When writing, the nature of the piece drastically changed when one of Mr. Zinkel's suddenly and tragically, Mr. Zinkel's students, I'm sorry, suddenly and tragically died at a local family pond. When the day of the funeral came, a gorgeous double rainbow formed over that very same pond. The beautiful thing about this is typically there are only rainbows in that area after the sun has risen in the east and it is raining. However, that morning, the sun had not yet risen and there was no visible rain. Mr. Balamage states, once I received pictures from the family, I immediately centered on the title, Endless Rainbows. One of God's first promises to man was a beautiful rainbow. He continually shows us his faithfulness in his promises. This piece is a beautiful reminder to us that God always keeps his promises, even in the midst of troubles and pain. Endless rainbows.
Hello. So this last song that we're going to be playing is called Celebration. Um, and I invite you to think about, as you listen to this piece, is about when we all go back to heaven and when we see the smile on Jesus' face. And that, and the, what a celebration it will be. This is a happy, upbeat song, and I invite you to think about the celebration we'll have in heaven. This is Celebration by Randall Standridge. Well, good evening, everyone. My name, my name is Christiana Green. I direct the Handbell Choir, which we will be hearing next. Um, the first song we will be playing for you um, is a medley between two different songs that are pretty well known. Um, it's a mix of Near My God to Thee and Near to the Heart of God. Um, as you listen, I ask that you would 
keep the words in mind and let your thoughts be drawn near to God so that his spirit can draw near to us as we are here tonight. The next song the bell choir will be playing is called Buona Sifiwe, which translates to The Lord Be Praised. As they, sing this, as they play this song, remember to think of all the good things that God has done for you in your life, and also remember to praise him for his goodness and faithfulness.
Written by David Foster and Carol Bayer-Sager, this arrangement by Joel Rainey brings out the beautiful melody of the well-known song, The Prayer. With the string orchestra playing along and creates a beautiful, prayerful mood. The lyrics to the song in Italian translate to the pleading for when lost that God will be our light, guiding us with his grace, and leading us to a place where we will be safe. La preghiera, the prayer.
Um, the next song that we'll be performing is Water Lily. So a water lily usually lies in a slimy, muddy pool surrounded by weeds and rubbish. The water lily strikes down its channeled stem to the pure sands beneath and lifts up its fragrant blossoms to the light and spotless purity. This helps us to under understand that we, even as sinners, can be in the worst, most unpleasant places, but we can be a shining light for Jesus and grow to be a beautiful individual amidst the trials and tribulations. <laughs> this is Water Lily featuring Abigail Nung oh, Johansson as our soloist.
The next piece we will be performing is called The Conquest of Canaan, featuring soloist Alina Sorensen. And this piece was composed by our beloved conductor, Mr. Sandvik. This piece is related to the story of Joshua leading the Israelites to battle. You will in fact hear that through the mood of the piece. And behind us is the choir, and to me, they remind me of those children of Israel marching towards Canaan. Here is the conquest of Canaan.
My name is Christian Juma, and I will be introducing the next piece. It is called Wana Baraka. It is a Kenyan folk song that will be sung in Swahili. It means they have blessings. The main theme of this song is prayer and how prayer is key to our lives. So I hope that through this song you see how much prayer means to us and hopefully to you. Okay, the next song that we'll be singing is Tu Lumen. It is written in Latin, and the translation reads, uh, You are the light, the splendor of the Father. You are the enduring hope of all. Heed the prayers that your servants throughout the world pour out. There will be two soloists, Cora Hall and Petar Samarjic. Uh That's me. But... How about you just reflect on those words as we sing the song to Lumen.
Our next song is God is Our Refuge, and it reminds me of Psalms 46. And it inspires me and keeps me content knowing that God is our ever uh, fortress where we can find rest in him. This song is one of my favorites, and I hope you can find your helper through this song. This will be... This will be our closing hymn. And when we finish, it's exciting and, and uh, powerful. But I uh, invite you at the close. I know this is prayer meeting evening. Let's um, get together right af- after we close. And um, remember that Jesus is the light of the Father. And we can bring our request to him. And remember that he is our refuge and let's uh, pray together in maybe groups of two, three, or four and, uh, and close a prayer meeting and together. And maybe it would be nice if um, when we do that, students, you can mingle with people that you don't know or maybe don't know as, or just getting to know. And we can have prayer together. And um, as it is your prayer meeting evening, so let's do that at the close of this hymn. Let's, let's pray together and then um, together in little groups and then we'll turn, give the, the microphone back to the pastor and for any um, final words. So let's get... To- were you blessed tonight? I was hoping that there were more songs with that big drum in it. And uh, it was really... <laughs> April and I had a fun time on that. And yes, honey? Um, no, we got. 
You know, tonight I think it would be nice if we could show our support in a financial way. We didn't plan for this, but um, if there are those of you that want to contribute anything to GLA, we know it takes not only time to come to this area, but it does take finances. It does take gas and a lot of expenses along the way. And I'm sure as I look at these wonderful instruments, we know that these are, I could tell, that it costs to be able to produce such wonderful music. So if any of you are impressed by the Lord tonight to give an offering, we will have uh, in the back of the foyer, we didn't plan for this right off the bat, but it just a spark thought came to my mind. We will try to find an uh, offering plate and in the back of the, of the foyer, in the back of the uh, auditorium tonight, there will be someone there, and what you give will go towards Greater Lake uh, Great Lakes Adventist Academy. Greater Lakes Adventist Academy. You're not just a Great Lake, you're the Greater Lakes. Amen? Amen. You know, I think back, I was sitting back there tonight and I was trying to figure out what are the ages represented here? And I uttered to someone, boy, if we could turn back the hands of time. These are things that um, will shape these young people's lives for a long time. And how many of you are in your last year at GLA? Raise your hands. Wow, how many in your first year, Gla? Okay, see, from the so the, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first, and everyone else in between come along for the ride. But we're praying for these students because we have in this auditorium tonight we have administrators, probably pastors and doctors and leaders, definitely, who are going to be as we see the Lord's work unfolding. Thank you. Could I get a couple of deacons? Yes, great, great, wonderful. We have the Lord's work here. It's being shaped, and uh, we have professors and teachers, moms and dads. They're going to look back on this evening and say, wow, time passes by so quickly. It just seems like, okay, i I got to be very honest. It doesn't seem like yesterday that I graduated, but I remember when I graduated. And uh, pray for these young people because they're living in more of a challenging age than when we were young. So they're going to be sleeping here tonight. I think that they have all that arranged. And uh, we want to pray that they have... Where are you going from here? Do you go back to... Oh, you go to St. Louis. Okay, we want to pray for safety. Let's bow our heads. Loving Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you for what we have seen and heard here tonight. We know a lot of work and effort and practice has caused these songs to be shaped in a way that how do you find harmony in all these independent minds and lives? We play to the music. In the way, Lord, that you have unified them musically, we pray that you will unify them spiritually. That these young people's lives, as they live by the notes that are in your word, by the cadence of the Spirit of God, that they'll not only find harmony amongst each other, but more importantly, they'll find harmony with you. Protect these young minds in this challenging age. What a day and age to be alive as a young person. We pray that their minds could be stayed on you, that they can find that peace that passes understanding. We pray that you'll guard their hearts in a world clamoring to call them in a different direction and that they'll remember the God that they sing about and played about tonight is the God waiting to meet them. What a glorious day it's going to be when we stand in that heavenly choir and sing the song of the redeemed, the song of Moses and of the Lamb. We pray that every one of these young people and all that are here tonight within the sound of my voice and under the influence of your spirit We'll be able to be unified on that sea of glass and lift our voices to the glory of your name. We pray that you'll grant these young people and all their parents and the staffing a good night's rest. And as they chart the course to St. Louis and back, may they get back without any incident. And Father, finally, when that day comes, may it be our joy and privilege to simply hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.